my take on the Lydia Jacoby 100 yard breaststroke time of 57.03 seconds from 17 March 2023. I'm filming this over a year later on Wednesday, 25 September 2024. I am Tanis Leonardi. She, her, hers is Seattle. I'm talking through the Lydia Jacoby of University of Texas Longhorns 100 yard breaststroke race at the 2023 National Collegiate Athletic Association Division I Swimming Championships in Knoxville, Tennessee, United States of America. She won a time of 57.03 seconds in the final on Friday, 17 March 2023. With her time, she achieved a personal best time in first place. I provide my take slash perspective on her performance and contextualize it in terms of her being over 20 seconds faster than my personal best time in this event. Yes, should I add women's 2023 women's women's? We'll do that. Yeah. Um, why is that relevant? This is someone whose new English Wikipedia article, sometimes called New Page, I created with my username, user Tannis Corley Leonardi. I'll link to the video where I announced that is a new Wikipedia article I created. And it matters because I, I swam the 100 yard breaststroke in scholastic competition. I did not compete collegiately, um, but I did, had, had not and have not ever competed and the 100 meter breaststroke in any course. So this is one where it's like, there you go. That's the, night, right? Like I, I used to race, but now she's much faster than me. Now, my personal best time was like a 118 something. So she is over, over, over 20 seconds faster than me, but not over 22 seconds faster than me. Um, and so I think it's kind of cool to have made her article. So this is, this is kind of like a joined Wikipedia, her performance, my, competition history um contextualization of it's cool i think it's the right direction to make an article versus having somebody at the top who's just judgmental of like oh you're slower than me making pages right that's no good um so so having somebody like me who's like no i i can accept she's like over 20 seconds faster than me is kind of the right well she wasn't when i made the page right so that, that's also been a very fun thing is she's gotten faster and it was like what was it her personal best time was like a 59 then a 58 59, 57 you know kind of thing and so i i, I got a, I've, I've seen her grow up you know kind of thing since i've made the wikipedia article so that's kind of fun and like as i was you know uh, contributing to the article after i initially made it there's there was like she's now over 20 seconds faster than me you know kind of, so it, it's it was kind of fun um i think that's the right attitude to take um i think and i'm it's the right directionality for making wikipedia articles per my perspective um as long as the person who's slower isn't like bitter or something like that right or trying to tear the person down um or putting the person down right like um or they should and there's some people who like bet on the people and then like are like they should be going faster even though they're like slower right they don't even enter themselves in like, <laughs> um so that's also bad but like the if the person cares so to speak i kind of feel like right it, it, it allows for growth of the sport in the sense of like it's a part of my competition legacy that i still care enough to come back even when somebody's that much faster than me that if that makes sense uh so yeah I, 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 it uh it doesn't result in stagnation Whereas if it were people at the top, I'd be concerned with like sabotage and stuff like that. Yeah, like I didn't write, uh, I didn't create any new articles in running, uh, and that was it's, it's not really appropriate when it's somebody's competition space. Uh, I th th there's ta there's like you know Wikipedia standards and then there's Tannis standards. So I guess I'm saying this is like a Tannis standards thing. Um, yeah, so there we go and, and it's I, I personally also think it's good for the sport right i'm a i'm an active runner so she gets lydia jacoby when i cover her be it here or on a different platform or something like that um it gives her a perspective outside of the sport of swimming right there's a bunch of swimming centric um or sport centric and uh she gets a perspective from a different uh, person who's active in a different uh activity maybe the way of phrasing it so there we go 
it adds to her notability. It's not just swimmers who look poor on her. Right? Um, so there we go. Or the swimming press. So, that's my take on the Lydia Jacoby 100-yard breaststroke time of 57.03 seconds from 17 March 2023.